It is October 15th. I actually don't know either. 20, 20th? 20th. 20th. It is brought to you by 3Chi. 3Chi is a leader in hemp derived cannabinoid products. All products are formulated by biochemists made in the U.S. with U.S. grown hemp. Delta 8 is a federally legal version of the and is a perfect substitute substitute for anybody using Delta 9 who wants the same great feelings without the negative side effects. Delta 8 will have you feeling amazing yet functional, clear-headed instead of lazy and paranoid. That sounds great. 3 Cheese is just the best in the Delta 8 industry. They invented the industry. 3 Cheese Delta 8 is 100% hemp derived, federally legal, available online at 3chi.com. That's the number 3 dot chi.com at select retailers around the country must be 21 to purchase use code rundown at checkout to receive five percent of your off your order at 3g.com i gotta try this i mean I, I need to be like concentrate alert all that jazz i'm starting i'm starting to get right now like the two o'clock like tireds a little bit do you, do you, what i describe it on radio is uh this season because of everything that we got going on with pen and everything in, in the grind it feels like, you know when a, a player gets to the end of their career and they're like, I, I still love game day, but it's the stuff in between that's yeah. hard for me to get up. And, and what is that, Monday through Friday? Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Like, But yeah. when, when the games turn on, it's yeah. like, let's go. Yeah, right. But, but then it, it takes yeah. a toll on your body. Um, this story, I don't know if it got blogged. I saw it. The uh, University of South Carolina, Gamecocks, maybe the most pussification of America's story I've ever seen. They just shut down their newspaper for a week, um, dovetailing to this because they thought, uh, like, their people were working too hard. And they were like, if we're open for business, people will work because the world's going. The only way to force people not to work and be mentally sound, we're just shutting it all down for so a week. was Europe? So when Europe shuts down for like all of August? That's, uh, what is that, a siesta in Spain? Yeah. Yeah, drink a little wine, a little, uh, what's the other thing? The fruity drink. Uh, sangria. Sangria. My favorite drink in the world. And then just fall asleep. Big T, you look like you may be overworked. No, I think I'm. That was sarcastic. I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. I actually hadn't seen <laughs> that until you, you brought it up to me, and yeah, I went and read there. They're just shutting down for a week to. Let everybody go. That's why I brought on the rundown. That's yeah. good. I, I, that was Big T coming in <laughs> with. That was. Yep. I have a school. That was strong, Big yeah, T. I worked for the UT newspaper for about a week for a. Uh, Too much work? Well, it they was didn't for, like you just sitting there. Like, it, was, it was. It was for a class, and then I found <laughs> out. I found out that my bar stool, uh, being a viceroy, counted for the class, so then I didn't. Oh, that's work a good for the story. I don't. It's not fair, but there is a Saint Bernard running around the office, and I think like dogs. Uh, he reminds me of you. Really? Yeah, like big. And no, happy. no, 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 no. Big T's more like a Great Dane. That doesn't know how big he is. Yeah, and, yeah, his, right. and his face is a little droopy. droopy. Yeah. That was his compliment. <laughs> great Danes are beautiful dogs. They are. Yeah. Beautiful good dogs. Dog. You'll yeah. probably die when you're like 33. But uh, that doesn't matter. We're, You'll have to live a great life. We're getting there. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. that's, that's coming what, up. More years. Ten. Yeah. Ten more years. That's fine. Enjoy that. Yeah. Big T, you, you just look like a corporate like stiff. Yeah, he, he you know he looks like uh, hit when 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 uh, Attitude Era at the end of, at the end of the '90s WWE. He's like, he's he's corporate stooge number four in Vince's posse. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? It's just, it's, it's you, just a vibe. That, you, no you have that vibe. Like, you golf at, like, an uh, okay country club. You're not good at it. You whip, but you're always kinda, wearing, yeah. like, yeah. You kind of, like, you're, you've, been, you've been planning on cleaning out your garage for, like, three years yeah. now. It's like, I got to sell those copiers. I got to hit my quota. Mm -hmm. I'm bad at golf. Yeah. yeah. Your, uh, your, your entire, your entire I, bedroom <laughs> closet. <laughs> Closet is just like fleece vests yeah. and, and uh, polos with different, you know, places he does business with. He 100% <laughs> everywhere he goes, like he's a gift shop guy, like yeah. for sure. Oh, that I was is. at like Walt Disney World, like I, yeah. Yeah. That is that is very. You yeah, hand out your world. business card. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When I when I came to New York to interview last year, I was a big like went to Times Square, went to like. Yep. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, also, I, I I asked Big T the other day this. Like, what percentage of people like you and don't within the Barcelona, like, fan base? He's like, it's 50-50. I don't know how anyone doesn't like you. 
Well, I don't I, like. I, go ahead. Well, I've actually. I was thinking about oh. that after you asked me. Ooh, that could be why he was I, wolf pack. For I a think while. that is a, a part of it, Ooh. but it's. I, I was thinking about it after you asked me, and I think it's just like. The people that you hear from are generally more the people that don't like you. I think there are probably people out there that like me that I've just never. I don't heard know if you even like it. You're just like a glue. I don't know. It's like you root for your teams. They're real rooting, and you just kind of. They suck. Yeah. I don't like a piece doesn't... of Big T. He doesn't. He refuses. Just absolutely refuses. I'll ask him if he can go grab me a coffee. Maybe once every two weeks. Refuses say, to get anything I for himself. I say yes himself. every time. I'm no, like, no, yes, I'd love to go get you but coffee. But he refuses to get anything for himself. I don't drink coffee. Anything. Like I was yesterday. I was like, I'll get you a mug. I'll get you a fucking Starbucks hat. I don't give a I fuck. Just something to make I me feel like good. It. That I don't I'm want getting. you to have to give me anything. But that part you gotta fix. Can I um, just throw a muffin in the trash? That let me think that I got you a muffin. I. But then, but then that's wasteful on both of our parts. But I don't know. I would, I would feel way worse doing that. I got sidetracked here, but in, in just a mental note, in in light of not getting like canceled or whatnot, maybe we should take those giant dildos off the window at yeah. some point. Maybe not the best look. Like honestly, who put those there? Yeah. The mortal cock off. What? Yeah. Oh, but you kept it to yourself. Yeah, who, there you go, Tommy. Honestly, who would be like, let's have giant dildos in the window is something that should happen. Crazy. The, no, I, throw them out. Who, throw them out. Was it you, Tommy? No, I don't know. Let's throw them out. Throw them out. I'd love I to mean, know. I mean, it's the, it who is Dave's that. right that it's gonna end up being like uh, someone walks in, like, why are there dildos in my face? Right. Like nobody here, but like people do walk through the office, giant dildos. I'd love to know the thought. Kate, you know who did it? <laughs> Kate, Lil who Sass, did? Little Sass, who did it? Really? Yeah. For real? Was it? Yeah. Lil Sass did it. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I did it after Friday Night Pints. Oh, on Friday. no. Idiot. Uh, Didn't think anything of it. Just, like, idiot. <laughs> uh, this no, but Lil Sass, did, Lil Sass, if Lil Sass, KB, or Nick does it, it's, it's ironic. So that was, those were ironic dildos. We're good. This is brought to you by Felix Gray. Uh, <laughs> I wear my Felix Grays all the time to help fight the blue uh, gas guy. Ga Gaz got is the downfall of society. Mm -hmm. um, I wear my Felix Grays all the time to help fight the blue light, blue light from my devices. By the way, Coley doing the editor, vintage Gaz. He comes, he's like, you know, he's our best like social guy. So what am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm gonna have to work more. Well, like, I'm gonna have to find. So God forbid I work. I'm gonna have to find somebody. Like it's probably just gonna be the 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 Chuck has to work. Yeah. Uh, 34 hours a day. Gaz just mushing him in the back. Like, mush, Chuck, mush. <laughs> no more headaches. But... Imagine if Chuck, like, like got hit by a bus. Gaz, like, what would, it'd be like when Madoff got caught. <laughs> Gaz... Like, they'd be like, this whole thing is a charade. <laughs> it was one guy doing everything. <laughs> yeah, it's just hands up, like, we didn't have a good, a lot of people, that's one of my best guys now. All right, I, okay. Uh, Felix Gray, no more headaches, blurry vision, tired, I'm wearing them right now. Tired eyes, trouble sleeping. Felix Gray filters out 90% of blue light, the most damaging range, and eliminates 99.9% .9 of glare through a proprietary industry leading lens technology only available at Felix Gray. Felix Gray frames are hand finished uh, from durable, super lightweight Italian acetate. Order online glasses shipped directly to you in the hard case, lens cloth included. Try them 30 days risk free. If your screens aren't easier on the eyes, send them back for a full refund. Go to FelixGrayGlasses.com slash rundown. The absolute best quality blue light filtering glasses on the market. That's FelixGrayGlasses.com slash rundown. Shipping and returns are totally free. FelixGrayGlasses.com slash rundown. And they do work. That's why I wear them. Um, Britney Spears and others just crazy video from the clouds. I saw some caption be like, ooh, Britney Spears, like, super sexy, like, she's back. What? Yeah, and they were serious. She stares at the camera the entire time. I was very uncomfortable watching that happen. It was like it was happening to me rather than I was watching something occurring in a vacuum, if that makes sense. Um, you nailed it. Nailed <laughs> it. I mean, um, I don't want to like pull back the uh, what is it? The fifth wall, the curtain. What is fourth, fourth, fourth wall. wall? Break the fourth wall. But fourth, pull back the fourth wall. 
like we're not recording right now. Okay. You nailed that. Thank you. It was beautiful. Thanks, um, this guy, Jeff Tubin. I don't know who he is from, but <laughs> he's in the new, what? No, oh. it's his name makes me laugh. Uh, from the New York Magazine. So he was on a Zoom and got caught masturbating. From what I understand, he, he screwed up, right? He, he was like talking to somebody else. He didn't know he was on the Zoom from what I've gathered, correct? I don't know if there's any clarification. I don't that. think he was intentionally jerking off in everyone's face. In which case, if that's right, I think you just like him. It's like no harm, no fault. There's Two weeks suspension. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people are going to be like, oh, oh, this, that. If you don't think you're on the Zoom and you're doing something else, there's a lot of people who have probably done hanky-panky. Not to like anybody, but you're in the comfort of your own home. It's corona rules. Things fucking happen. Two weeks suspension, I think, is fair. If I don't it, know why it's such a big deal. Well, if, if it was totally an accident, I agree. And he actually is is being punished because I made this point. If I, I didn't really know who he was, and then I looked it up. Um, everyone's talking about, like, because it's also a sexual thing, that he impregnated a co-worker a few years ago uh, who while he was guy? married. Who, who is this guy? Why does everyone he's know that? guy. I think no, he's, he's, he's also, a, like, a legal analyst on CNN. He, he did something with the OJ trial. Like, I don't... Yeah, 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 fucking, yeah. He covered... I don't know. Yeah, he was... Yeah, he, yeah. he's semi-famous, and he's on CNN a lot, but everyone's now bringing up, like, oh, this is the same guy who oh. did this, so he's kind of getting punished from the skeleton. Double so jeopardy. Right. Tommy, you got info? Like he thought that was done. It says he's CNN's chief legal analyst and there a renowned go. reporter for The New Yorker. Did, but it was not on purpose, right? No, he said it was an accident. Yeah. Well. Well. I CNN, mean, if you need some, I would assume you want someone right up into the election. We got a legal analyst if you need one. <laughs> he said, I believe I, I was not him. visible yeah. on the Zoom. Imagine I thought if no you one got him the CNN call. job. <laughs> That would be something. <laughs> Chief legal analyst, Mike Portnoy. He just that blue egg thing that he has always, he can't figure out. I do got to say now, I, you always ask me, like, do we have any tricks? Is there anything going on? I do have a little trick for oh, you today. Do you know what it is, Michelangelo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you know what it is? No, I have no idea. This is my dad? I'm here. Mr. This is my son. Mr. Portnoy, can we get you to hit the uh, camera button so we could, we could see you? <laughs> All right, where's where's the button? Uh, it should be towards the bottom of the screen. It's like a camera icon. Just disappeared entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Says, Portnoy, tell us. <laughs> the more things tell change, us. the more they stay the same. All right, wait a minute. I'm back. You I'm never back. left. <laughs> All right. You never left. Whatever. I can see this is going to well, go we well. We can't see you. We can't uh, see you. Where is, the, where is the camera button? I don't see it. We click the middle one, Mr. Portnoy. The middle one? Yeah. Oh, there we I go. We got, got we got the there it is. Nice <laughs> close. Right. Um, Skype, yeah. It, 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 49ers. So that Cowboys game, classic higher ground. This guy just goes absolutely flying. It's a great video. It's like these fans have never like been on the internet. You cannot fight with the low ground. It, that's true from the days of like Braveheart. Like if you're on lower ground, you're in trouble. Yes. I mean, he went flying like three rounds. Flying. Rows. It looked like uh, uh, the scene in uh, Inception. It was it Inception? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then I also think that we're going to get a, uh, a nice revitalization of fan fights because it's all spread out. So you get great camera angles. Correct. Like, usually it's like, what's going on? What's going on? In more room. Yeah. In more like they're not fighting in a phone booth anymore. People are feeling frisky. Yeah. I think this is going to get a like, little golden age of the COVID era of fan fights is going to be nice to look back on. Um, Miami has announced after the bye week they are going to uh, Tua, which is I interesting move. It's almost in a rare case they were forced to it. I almost feel like because if they let Fitzmagic keep going, they keep winning, then you can't do it. I like this move. By I the hate way. it. Oh, I like it because the Dolphins went in the season thinking they were going to suck. Now you get Tua playing meaningful football games. Boom. And I mean Fitzpatrick's not the future. And I think that I think the uh, Cowboys, I think the Washington football team, I even threw out maybe the Colts, even though I love Philly Rivers, if one of those teams wanted to trade for Fitzpatrick, like if the Cowboys had Fitzpatrick, I'd maybe bet on them to win the NFC East. Oh the Eagles are gonna win the NFC East. They are But with Fitzpatrick? Like, that Cowboys offensive they, line yeah, is so bad yeah, that you need the, a guy like Fitzpatrick just running yeah, around making Cowboys plays. defense. I, I think the Eagles are going to run away with that division, to be honest. Like, 
they're they played Baltimore tough. They played Pittsburgh tough. The other teams are like. No, I, I agree with you. I'm just saying that if you, like, if the Dolphins played it right, I think you could get some some maybe a. Fifth it kind of sucks pick. though to be a Dolphin player when you're playing well. This to me, it's like only you can only get worse right now by putting two in in my mind. Yeah, I just like the idea of having your franchise, your future franchise guy, play some meaningless football or, or meaningful football, as opposed to like Justin Herbert or Joe Burrow. Like they're going to be playing out the rest of the yeah. season and they're going to suck. Like Tua could be in big games where they're trying to get to the playoffs. Yeah. Anything? T. I love Tua. He's one. Of, he's like he's the How only can you love player. A guy? I, he's probably the only. I like Jalen Hurts too because of that story. But like. So you like a lot of Bama guys. No, just those two. Julio Jones. Uh, but Julio Falcons. Jones was bef- right. That was before my t- Calvin Ridley. I actually, I think I like several Bama guys individually. I just love two of them. I think getting him. <laughs> he just listed five Bama. Guys. Yeah, I think I do actually like Bama players individually. Derrick Henry. He the like the one bad year he's had was when I had him in fantasy, so I don't like Derrick Henry. Okay. But uh, I just love two. I think he's going to be. I think getting him at number five is going to be like the steal of the last. What, three what fantasy drafts. league are you in? Just whatever one I had with my friends that year that I had Derrick Henry. Do, uh, do you play fantasy now? Yeah. Same group? Yeah. How you doing? Do you take it? Is it, is it a low entry, but you take very seriously fantasy I, league? I, yeah, for the most part. Yeah, that's all what I, yeah. yeah. That, again, you're. 15 bucks? Does that, you fit uh, a profile 50. in my head of 50? Okay, everything. That's, a, that's what, like uh, have basic. you Speaking of Bama, have you. Uh, have you made a, an adjustment for Saturday? Are you going to watch? I don't know. I, I, Big T has declared that been, he's not going to watch Tennessee, Alabama. He said he did it out of anger, though. It, and, it, and as I, it, you know, my friends say that, like, Friday, Connor is very different than Monday. Like, Jack Mack even <laughs> tweeted on Saturday that I will have talked myself into my Saturday. Friday, you don't want to Friday, Friday, Connor? Friday, Connor is a monster. <laughs> I don't think I will think that we can win. That's but the great I, thing, showing the teeth a little bit, which it never does. See, I don't. Like, walking around with, like, a little, like, uh, scowl. I don't think I can know that Tennessee is playing a football game and not watch it. Right. But I just really, I, I, I think, need a break. I actually think that that game will be close. I think they could hang. I think Alabama is going to look right past you, and you guys need a bounce. Where is it? Knoxville. It sounds like we might be playing a new quarterback, too. Well, that's good. Yeah. Um, this article I just put in is about Fairfield parents and the craziness of trying to, and that's in like Connecticut, rich area, Fairfield mm-hmm. County, trying to get their kids into Ivy League schools. Nothing totally new, but I did like one of the quotes that made me laugh, and it was like some squash player. She's like, listen, if my daughter screws up for a second, she's going to end up at Ohio State. I love that dig at Ohio State. Just an absolute yes, cheap yes. shot at Ohio State. Yes. Hate to see that. Yeah, hate to see it. Um, this Dunkin' Donuts girl, hilarious. So she's voting. Oh, you always get these mass holes who just come out with like the classic mass hole clip. So she's like, I went to Fenway because, you know, we haven't been outside. I got my dunkies. She actually wanted to vote for uh, Bernie, but team game, this, that. And it's, it's just anytime you get a mass person saying dunkies, you have kind of a home run. <laughs> Do clip. you think that was real? Oh, yeah. I wanted to vote on Fenway because we've all been cooped up inside for a little bit. And I got my donkeys. And I'm ready to vote for Joe Biden, but I wish I was voting for Bernie Sanders. But it's a team sport. Because when I heard donkeys, I was like, that can't No, no, no. That's as real as it gets. Wait, is there early voting? In person? I don't even understand what how this election is working. But yes, isn't that everywhere? People are... I think you can yeah, I think vote you can whenever vote the fuck you want. Like right now. Yes. I did the, the mail. I didn't know you can vote early in person. Yes. Oh. But mm-hmm. no, Connor, that's like very, donkey, like, that is okay. a well, that, that's a frequently said thing. That's hilarious. You're going to watch that video. Yeah. Um, and then this last one, John Wall doing an interview. Oh. It's with Field Yates, and I don't know the other guy. Uh, fuck. Fitz. Fitz? Whoever it is. What's his name? You just have. Zero respect for yourself if at some point you don't either hang up, call him out. They just went and, and it is the equivalent of him pooping and just taking the shit and rubbing it in their face. Yeah. And by the way, it's worse because the Fitz guy has like kind of like a bro look on purpose, clearly, like laid back. Tattoos, and then he's just sitting yeah. there eating it. Eat, I mean, it was, and John Wall, I actually don't hate it. It's like, all right, I'm just going to 
shove it in your face and you're going to eat it. Yeah. And that's exactly what At happened. At least ask what hand he has. Something. Anything. Acknowledge what? the disrespect that is going on. Yes. That's just how programmed they are. They couldn't, like, break out of this interview tunnel vision to be like, we are getting disrespected and made a mockery of. Like, that's John Wall talking about the Cowboys. Who cares? John Wall talking about his card game. Correct. Now I'm interested. How important is his card game? Right. That How much could, money's on the table? Right. You could Who take you one second. Right. Exactly. T? He was playing cards. I loved it. Okay. I like Big it. T. D yeah, I don't, I don't. You are. No, don't, don't press yourself. No, no. I, that, you I, don't really it. I think y'all nailed it. Yeah. Thank you. You all nailed it. Thanks. All right. Um, anything else? Um... You gonna watch the World Series, Big T? Not a pitch. Could not, you couldn't bet. Who are you rooting for? The Rays. I will not watch a pitch of it. I hope the Rays win in for Bless it. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. It sucks that the Rays are in it. I mean, nothing against Tampa. It's crazy. You Astros see Dodgers would have been incredible. Must watch. Yep. Now, not as much watch. Did you see the thing that Tom Brady's a witch? That little graphic on? Oh, yeah. Like everywhere he goes, they goes, win everything. Yeah. yeah, Dickie B had a funny video. He's talking about title town and. It's just Big Tampa. Big. It's like tough to get up or down for Tampa. I mean, the Dodgers are for sure like a primetime team, but you put Tampa versus anybody, nobody cares. Tommy Lasorda, I found that old clip from four years ago. He said, if the Dodgers don't win this year, I'm going to kill myself. Who said that? Tommy Lasorda. <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't that year, so he, I think they got to win eventually. Yeah, I, I guess they <laughs> care. People will care about the box, but the Lightning, the Devil Do Rays. They? Well, Brady. Well, yeah, Brady, but like. They want it, Bra but Brady yeah, makes yeah, them yeah, a, yeah, yeah. a yes, primetime yes, yes. ticket. Let's say besides Che, do that. No, no, no. It's but but Brady makes them a, a national team. Steve, listen, if the Bucks win the Super Bowl, we're all in a world of pain because Stephen Che will be brutal. He's an insufferable guy. Brutal. J P P. J P P. He does that every single Sunday, just haunting me. All right, that's the rundown. Good Great job, job T. T. Thank you. Is that your first rundown? Yeah. Was Natural. It? Yeah. Natural.